Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we're working on Module 5, Lesson Number 38. And in tonight's lesson, we are going to be finding the product of a whole number and a mixed number using the distributive property. So we've been working on this a little bit uh, in the last few days, and we're going to extend our reasoning today to uh, slightly more complicated problems than we've had before. So let's take a look at a few problems, maybe three of them from tonight. Problem number one, let us fill in, fill in, the unknown factors. Fill in the unknown factors. Let's see. So let's look at what we have here. We've got 8 times, oh, and then here's a mixed number, 4 and 4 sevenths. So we need to make sure that we multiply, we use the uh, distributive property to multiply the 8 times both of these uh, parts of the mixed number. So we need to go ahead and say, well, we are going to multiply the 8 times the 4 wholes, but we are also going to multiply the 8 times the 4 sevenths. And then we can move on from here, but all we're asked to do in this problem is to remember to distribute that multiplication, to multiply the 8 times both parts of our mixed number. We're going to extend that a little further in the next problem. Problem number 2 asks us to multiply. Use the distributive property, and here we're given uh, a, a problem in C, where we're asked to multiply 9 times 8 and 7 ninths. Now, I will say for sure that we could draw our tape diagram, our enormous tape diagram. We would need to draw, let's see, 8 and 7 ninths. And we would need to do that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 more times all the way out here. But, you know, I think we're getting to the point where we might not need to model that completely. Let's just remember our distributive property. We need to multiply 9 times 8 first, right? And then we need to remember that we also need to multiply the 9 times 7 ninths, right? Uh, and that will allow us to do our multiplication here uh, in a way that we can figure out. 9 times 8 we can remember from our multiplication charts. Let's see, 9 times 8 is 72, and then 9 times 7 is 63 ninths. Excellent. And actually, we've got an improper fraction here, so we should be able to simplify that too. So we've still got 72. Let's see, what is 63 ninths? Well, let's see. Does 63 divide evenly by 9? We might remember that it does, or we might just skip count like we normally do with improper fractions. Let's see if we can count. Let's see. That would be 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, seven times. So we can make seven holes out of 63 ninths, and that means we can do our final little bit of addition, 72 plus 7. 72 plus 7 would be 79. So we've got our complete answer here, that 9 times 8 and 7 ninths equals 79. Awesome. Let's take a look at one of the story problems. Story problem number four. Let's read together. We've got our read, draw, and write strategy. So let's read, then draw, then write. Let's start reading. Rocky the Collie ate three and one-fourth cups of dog food each day for two weeks. How much dog food did Rocky eat in that time? So let's see. If we think of this as being a tape diagram, at least the beginnings of a tape diagram, let's see, in one day, Rocky ate three and one-fourth. Now, we can we could represent it this way, or we could represent it, here, I'll erase that, we could represent it as three, and we could make a little separate sidecar here for one-fourth. And we could do that, we could draw those two pieces, we could draw many, many copies of those two pieces. But let's just see if we can figure out how many copies we need to draw, and then maybe we'll be able to avoid doing the full drawing all the way out. Let's see, ate three and one-fourth cups of dog food each day. Okay, so that's every single day for two weeks. Oh, okay, so wait, do we just need two of these? No, wait, every day for two weeks. How many days are there in two weeks? Let's see, one week has seven days, so two weeks must have... 14 days. So we could do this. We could do these parts. We could do 13 more copies all the way out. No, we're going to need to expand all the way out here, right? We could do 13 copies. Let's just say we've got 14 days, and we need to multiply that by how much Rocky ate in one day. 14 times 3 and 1 fourth. Awesome. Now let's use our distributive property because we need to multiply the 14 times both parts of our uh, mixed number, right? So let's see, that would be the same as 14 times 3 plus 14 times 1 fourth. All right, 
Well, 14 times 3, we might do a little math on the side, but I think 14 times 3 is going to be 42. And 14 times 1 fourth, well, that's 14 times 1 all over 4, so that's just 14 fourths. Excellent. But now I'm noticing one more thing. We've got, a, we've got our improper fraction here. Let's see, how many holes can we pull out of that? Let's see, 4, 8, 12. Looks like we could pull three holes out. So let's see, plus three holes. And how many fourths would be left? That would be 12. So 13, 14, that looks like two fourths, three and two fourths. And then as our final step, we could actually combine those, 45 and two fourths. So it looks to us like that we, we've done our read and our draw. We kind of just did a partial drawing. And now we've got to do our write. Uh, Rocky 8, 45 and 2 fourths cups in 2 weeks or 14 days. And that's our write strategy. So I hope you've had a good time tonight watching another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems, and I wish you the best of luck as you conquer your homework tonight. See you again next time. Bye-bye.